Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. We're going to jump right on in today. Only love and light is welcome. Thank you. Let's see what's coming through for Cancer. Peace and thank you. We have the Magician. That's the only card that I saw during your shuffle, too. Magician, mercurial energy. Um, some of you are changing your mind or there's like terms and conditions <laughs> that are changing. I'm also getting some kind of an update. It's like there's information that's changing things. Or things are changing. It feels like in a good way though. Ten of Wands and the Movement of Pentacles. Yeah, something that was holding you back is no longer holding you back. Whatever the burden was, it looks like you're dropping the burden and you're ready to plant a new seed. Start something new. Move in a different direction. You could have manifested this change. You could have created it yourself here. It does feel spiritual, but it actually feels very physical as well. Bless you, bless you. It's like a schedule change or, yeah, like adding or removing something to your schedule, to your budget, to your to-do list. I don't know. It's, um, it feels like you're taking care of business either way right here. What have we got here? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's that new seed that you're planting. A ton of swords here with the king of wands in reverse the worst thing you could have done was not make a change but that was the problem and that's why you are making a change and things are able to grow now some of you might feel like you made some mistakes along the way you screwed up a couple times something or someone absolutely took you off your path here but I think you're back on it and it's like as soon as you are back on your path there's some kind of blessings that come through these blessings are confirmation that you're back on track I'm hearing just in time to just in time. I wonder if Pisces season just did some things to you. And now that we're in Aries season, there's something that's changing, Cancer. Somebody is very much into astrology, or at least... <laughs> I feel like you've stared at the skies long enough to see some shit. <laughs> Let me see. There's a form of self-sabotage here. Yep, exactly, justice. But you're you're coming out of that. You're not You're not doing the same thing over and over expecting different results. Somebody tried to trip you up here. But you stood back up, you brushed the dirt off, and you got right back about your business. Exactly. High Priestess. Because you already know, people like that are just trying to have company, because that's what misery wants. But you're healed. You've been healed. Matter of fact, you are a healer. You can recognize how you're just a mirror to these people, to these situations. What can I do? about this and then actually doing it instead of just yeah no I don't think so maybe tomorrow ask me again later no you're on top of your stuff here cancer somebody could be a palm reader or maybe you've been wanting to get your palm read I'm also getting birth chart and astrology here
A lot of symbols and synchronicities too. A little bit of the numbers, of course, and the animals, but right now for you, I feel like it's a lot of symbols. Oh, you might even get into um, runes. Oh yeah, definitely runes and tarot. I'm also getting a fascination with um, Egypt and the hieroglyphs on the pyramids. And not just the pyramids in Egypt. They're all over the world, actually. There are Egypts everywhere. <laughs> There's Egypts in China, guys. The sun. Yeah, there is definitely... <laughs> Definitely that um, Egypt magic energy. You're a very old soul here, Cancer. You are ancient. You've been here many times before and you've played many roles before. This is one of your more mundane roles. But do not mistake your power. Do not mistake your ability Yes, to impact the universe, exactly. Look at the amount of Major Arcana, the whole bottom row. You even started with Major Arcana. Again, very powerful. And it's a fixed energy. Look at that, fixed, fixed, fixed. I feel like the only times that you've really felt like you hurt yourself is when you just didn't listen to your gut. You didn't listen to your intuition. It's the only time you got hurt, period. Yeah, you've played some very important roles in your past lives. Three of Cups. And I think a lot of that is coming back to you. You're channeling this. Yep. Ace of Swords, Big Fat. Yes. You're channeling this energy, Naked Heart, and the Eight of Wands. With the Innocence of Swords, you're like, if I know about it, I can work with it. And that's what I'm here for. You could be doing some past life digressions here. Or astral projecting, time traveling. Like there's a bunch of different ways that you can remember your past lives. You could even be doing it with tarot cards. There are certain decks that help you with that. I never use them on the channel, but they're very personalized. I don't know, maybe someday I'll use them on the channel. But yeah, that's what I've got for you guys today. Enjoy this. This is who you really are. This is who you've always been. You've really overcome a lot to be able to regain this. And I'm proud of you because this is not for the weak. Y'all are serious warriors and I do not feel like you get enough credit. So I just wanted to take a moment and give that credit to you. We have Virgo, Gemini. Virgo, Leo, Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio on the board. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.